Hello everybody and welcome to Creativity Time. My name is Tatiana. I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator in Australia and I craft and blog under Tatiana Creative. I am thrilled that you can be joining me and this is, is my second live for the day. Um, earlier today I went through the annual catalog, which is, oh, box falling. This is the one and I pointed out all the stamp sets that are retiring because uh, it is that time of year. The new annual catalog does start on the 3rd of May. So you've still got a month, um, but supplies are while well last and there are discounted items and they often go. Anyhow, I did enough talk about that this morning. Today, or this afternoon, I wanted to share the sharing sunshine and we're going to recreate this card with a little bit of a tweak. Um, and the sharing sunshine is my focus for my current online class. So Tatiana Creative um, Stamping Adventure, that's me. I have online classes or classes by mail and the current class by mail, the Creative Cuts class by mail is sharing sunshine. So I thought it'd be a good time to showcase this registrations close tomorrow. So if you haven't yet registered, please register. I'll put the link in the video description. And for those who have registered, thank you so much. And this is a little bit of a sneak peek of how I run my classes. So I'll go through step-by-step step of what we're creating. I'll show you what we're creating and everything's cut up in the kits if you're buying a kit. Yeah, so let's flip the camera and get started this one. So here's the catalogue and I am going to be recreating this card um, except I don't like the cinnamon cider background. It just does not work for me. So I am mixing it up or changing it up a bit and I'm going to use Farmy Blue. So I have my envelope. All my classes always include envelopes because what's a card without an envelope? Honestly, you'll need two circles. So I cut this to the size of it looks like it might be too small that's all right it is what it is I've got so there's a basic white we've got some basic white here I've got a balmy blue cardstock and a balmy blue card front and another piece of basic white for the inside of the card and we're going to start with this and the stamps that you will need for this particular card are these rays this the circle these rays the smiley face, the single dot, the swell, the happy birthday, and sunshine. And ink pads are Bursamark, Cinnamon Cider, Polished Pink, and Daffodil Delight. And according to the information on, from well, demonstrators get information on each project, so the supply list for each project that is in the catalog. So according to that, the background was Bursamark. So I'm going to start, if you if I bring the card back in, you'll see that there's that sunshiny background and that was stamped in Versamark. So that's a more of a subtle look, but it's a great one. So you don't have to own all the ink pads. You can just have the colors, the cardstock colors, and then you'll be able to stamp. Now I pressed a little too hard on that one. That's okay, we're gonna turn that one around. And I might start, I'm gonna hide that with the bits, but I might do it this way. So I'm gonna to have to stamp this one twice each time and just randomly around your background. There's no right or wrong on how you stamp this. It is quite subtle and the camera may not be picking it up, but trust me, it's there. When I bring it up closer, you can see. So you're just using Versamark, which is a fun technique. Now, most people use Versamark with uh, embossing powders, but you don't have to. It just takes that little bit longer to dry comparative to regular ink, but it's also known as a watermarking ink. So this is a bit like that. We're watermarking the background. And I want to put one more in this corner here and now I'm going to go in with the circle so 
Perfect. Our background is all complete. Now, I'm not going to put the Versamark away just yet. I'm going to take the smaller of my two circles and again using Versamark. Now, this is a technique I've never done before, but I thought it'd be fun to try. And I've also got the soft pastel assortment here and I'm going to grab a block, two blocks. And what the instructions say is that you stamp the sun in Versamark and then using a sponge dobbler, rub some of the color from the soft pastels onto the Versamark. And they suggested the Daffodil Delight and Mango Melody. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find there we go. I'm going to use the little spatula end of the take your, tool, take your pick tool. I'm going to scrape some colour onto the block. That should be more than enough. Put that away. Oh my goodness, the rain is falling. To my block. Clean that before we step. And then I've got two sponge dobblers all ready to go. And I'm going to again into Versamark ink, really making sure I get that covered, and onto my piece. And now to oh this is fun and because the Versamark ink is a little sticky and that's why we use it for the what do we call it uh, for heat embossing the powdering the soft pastels are sticking to it that is so much fun I highly recommend this technique. That is cool. I'm just gonna blow off the excess. <sighs> there we go. <laughs> Isn't that cool? And as you can see, I did way more than I needed. So you really don't need that much, but totally neat technique. I'm glad I read the instructions. Otherwise I would have just stamped that in Daffodil Delight. But speaking of Daffodil Delight, this piece is stamped in Daffodil Delight. And we're going to start with this blocky ray. And this is stamped, rotated, and stamped again, but without re inking so that you have. And you don't have to worry about the positioning. I took a bit of my time. As you can see, we've got two tones now, and the card also has the other one, but that is stamped in cinnamon cider. So let's grab that out and erase. Layering the sun rays, but that gives a nice little cool effect. So that's how our sun will sit on the card. Isn't that cute? And before we put away, I'm going to stamp the sun's face in cinnamon cider. I always said used black, but I've got to say I do like the subtlety of the cinnamon cider. And then it's he, he, she, the sun, the sun, has cheeks. And they said, to, well, I'm assuming they used the pink, but stamped off. Yes, definitely stamped off. And just on either side of the smile. Now we can layer that. Where are my dimensionals? Here they are. There's a stamping dimensional on the back. Three of my 
be an overkill, but you know, it holds better. And just the middle. Oh, the sun's so cute. I don't get this excited during the creative cuts classes. It's because, you know, I'm creating something from the catalog, which I've never made before. But, you know, concept art. Before we finish, let's do the last bit of stamping. We're going to take the little swell stamp and Daffodil Delight. And we're just going to stamp it all over this yellow bit. Oh, this, not yellow, it's basic white. And I just eyeballed the size, to be honest, uh, based off. We don't get the sizing in our in guides, but um, I think I cut it about three quarters of an inch. And yes, I do use both inches and centimeters. But this one I know that I cut at one inch and then just made sure it was shorter than that one. And on this one, we're going to stamp in polished pink our sentiment, which is happy birthday. Of course, making sure that fits the sentiment. And then they added the word sunshine. Now I'm going to add it slightly differently, but still the concept is there. You know, you can always copy the catalog, uh, cards in the catalogue and never be too shy to reach out to your demonstrator, whether it's me or anyone else, to ask what are the stamp sets that are used. Now, I've started putting everything away, but remembered that we haven't stamped our inside of our card or our envelope. So I'm going to do the envelope flap, bring back Daffodil Delight, and where's the... There it is, and do the same technique, but I'm gonna cut it off the corner. Now, because I've stamped off and there's been the edges, those edges kind of pick up and the ink doesn't evenly stamp off. So I'm gonna re-ink, stamp off, and then do the rotating thing, just to have that little bit of more evenness. And stamp on first, stamp off. And because it's photopolymer, it's fairly easy to line up where you would like it. Now, our sun was in the verse mark. So let's do the verse mark trick one more time because we have some. I'm going to do one, each one separately. So let's start with the envelope flap and grab. I love it. It's so soft and beautiful. Just gives it a more even, well no, not necessarily even, but a different look. Because when you stamp it with the catalogue, with the, the as an in, inked up image, jeez, I can't speak today, it's, it's not patchy, patchy is the wrong word, but it is texturised, I guess that's the right word, but you're getting a very different texturised look when you're using the soft pastels. I would highly recommend scraping, even though I've never done this before, I've watched others, and scraping just gets you a more concentrated ink. Uh, concentrated ink. Well, they're not inks, are they? Concentrated soft pastel. Whereas if I was to rub this over the soft pastel, it wouldn't have that same effect, it'd be a lot softer. And let's put a smiley face. Do we want a smiley face on the envelope flap too? Yes, why not? So that was in Cinnamon Cider. Just try to remember to stamp everything at once. I do in my classes, so I'm more prepared. So as I've already mentioned, but for those who are just joining in, this is a sneak peek, no, a um, taster of my Creative Cuts classes by mail. And I currently have one which registration closes with the Sharing Sunshine stamp set. So don't miss out on registration. There, I was looking for the little dot to do the little cheeks. I think the sun just looks so adorable with the cheeks. Don't forget to stamp off. There. Now. 
now we can assemble. My balmy blue, balmy blue. Here's a fun trick. If your glue isn't flowing as mine isn't, untwist the bottom a little bit and then as long as it's not blocked, it does flow better. But of course, I'm not going to share that today because it's blocked. Hey. In this one. There we go, see, flow better. So, so I'm just okay, now the card, the original card did add some ribbon behind there, but I just I don't know. I just don't feel that pay, uh, the polished pink ribbon works there. I, that's my personal taste. If you would like, you can add that. Absolutely. I'm going to add the insert in. I'm now starting to think, what other stamp sets can I use? The Versamark and Soft Pastels. It's almost like a trick. I'm actually trying to think. What can I use that on in the new catalogue products? But I can't think of some right now. I need to go look at the catalogue again. The perk of being a demonstrator is that I get to see the upcoming products early. And um, Friday I get to order some early, so I can't wait to see that too. Anyhow, we are going to add the happy birthday on Dimensionals. Just felt... Blue was a better background. You know, the sky is blue when it's not raining. It is raining here really badly. And our sun. Should have measured, but that still fits. And the auto description wrote sun. S O N, but this is the sun. S U N. That's okay. Not a big deal. And this, the project used the champagne rhinestones, which do work very well with cinnamon cider. But because I didn't use cinnamon cider, I decided to use my absolute favorite rhinestones, which are the iridescent ones, because they blend into whatever color background you use, and it's just fabulous. So I'm going to, since I'm casing, or copying, casing, I'm just going to place them in the same, or in a similar position to that on the sample, the catalogue sample. Yep. Like so, and then there's three down here, one. And one final touch is a bow using the white twine. So what I do is I hate cutting off and then cutting too much off. So I try to tie my bow first and then I can adjust. means that I'm only having to trim off, as in losing, throwing out into the bin, trim off one side. There we go. Happy with that. Let's stick that down with a glue dot. Now we just trim. So this is what I mean. This this trim, obviously I'll throw that little bit out. Unless you can find a project to use it. But this side, if I had trimmed 
it off the main spool. I would have had to trim both and lose that, but that one is still on the spool and ready for another project. And there we go. Happy birthday, sunshine. Isn't that cute? So that's totally copied from the catalog and there's absolutely nothing wrong. In fact, I encourage people to copy the catalog because it's often the samples in the catalog that make you want to buy the stamp set. And so you should be inspired. Why not? There is absolutely nothing wrong with that. So there you have it. That is a taster to my creative cuts. Sun uh, sharing sunshine class. Uh, registration closes tomorrow. I would love you to join me and thank you for those who have already registered and I can't wait to share. So I should mention that these are all pre-recorded videos so you'll be able to complete the class in the comfort of your own home or while you're on holidays as long as you have the supplies with you. I do provide a very thorough supply list. Um, if you're in Australia you have two options. Um, the basic package which includes the rhinestones which we use today and um, the kit and the PDF and the videos or the full package which also includes the stamp set and you'll get the rhinestones for half price. Um, I also am offering a PDF and video only version and that is particularly good for those who do not live in Australia. By stamping up policy I cannot sell product to anyone overseas or outside of Australia. So that's another option there and with that one the PDF gives you all the information of all the products you need, all the cutting directions and I um, have converted everything so the cutting information is valid for both card makers that use A4 cardstock as well as what we call letter but I think it's what eight and a half by 11 inches cardstock so that's North Americans. Anyway thank you so much for joining me and I hope to catch you next time. I'll be live again next Wednesday at 1 p.m. Australian. Oh I think it'll be daylight time, a standard time by then. I think daylight saving ends this week. Maybe it's next week. Doesn't matter. 1 p.m. Sydney time. That's a better way of putting it. Bye for now.